Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. Also make sure you check out the community tab. That is where I post announcements about upcoming videos and giveaways, as well as my Instagram account, which is just Maui underscore Noelle. I will leave the link for that in the description box below. But I would love to have you guys following me on both platforms and for those of you who already do thank you so much for being here and welcome back let's get into our box for today which is the ladies at lunch box from bibliophilic excursions so the ladies at lunch box always includes a book that has a female protagonist and then some different items that are themed around that book it is $34.99 per month plus for me about $10 in shipping but you can save $10 on your own subscription if you just use my code which is no well 10 and that code will actually work on all of their different subscription offerings they also have a mystery and mixology box they even have some more travel destination themed boxes and if you want to see any of those opened I have opened pretty much all of their different offerings on the channel at least once and they're all in my books playlist so definitely check it out they are a great company it's run by two sisters who have been so supportive to me and I really really appreciate this company all right, so I will say the box is a little bit smaller. It looks like someone shrunk it down. It is still the pretty blue color. It's still kind of styled to look like a book. It's still got my shipping label right on the top, so I can't show it to you. But it is more like the size of a book, so it definitely makes sense to me that if they can save on uh, shipping costs to do so. But it does look like it's a little bit more branded. It's a different box, so on the inside, we've got some like bright blue and yellow stripes, and it just says where to find them. Now, their um, Instagram account is actually at Malcolm Reads, and Malcolm is the name of the Yorkie Poo that is sort of the um, editor in charge of the entire subscription box. So you'll have to check that out to see what I'm talking about. And then inside, they always have a little handwritten card, which I think is such a sweet touch. And they also always remember to put the uh, dots, the umlaut over my E, which you guys know I love. Um, so inside, what a pretty little card. It's got some hot air balloons, which is another one of their kind of uh, signature symbols or emblems because it evokes that idea of traveling around the world. But you can kind of see there's some like metallic in there. So that's really pretty. Uh, let's see. Hello there, thanks for taking another excursion with us. This month we've curated a Ladies at Lunch adventure in honor of one of Yvette's personal heroes, Shiro's, they wrote, The Notorious RBG. Happy reading. So, The Notorious RBG, in case you didn't already know, is the lovely Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who I honestly don't know that much about. I did want to see the movie that recently came out about her life, but I didn't get a chance to because I feel like it came out in the theaters right when everything hit the fan. Um, but I do know that she is a very strong woman and uh, I think she's around like 87 or so and she is still rocking it. So uh, let's find out a little bit more about how they are celebrating her in this box. The first thing I'm seeing, this is hilarious, you guys. This is a finger puppet and fridge magnet of, of RBG. <laughs> She has a very serious face because she's a very serious lady. I do like she's got some like pretty emerald earrings though. See? <laughs> Look at the detail on this. This is hilarious. And she's wearing her, her robes to uh, be a, the Supreme Court justice that she is. So I'm not sure where the magnet is. I think the magnet might be in the back of her head. So you could actually put her on on the fridge if you wanted to. But she's also a finger puppet, so I wonder what other, um, I don't know if you can collect the whole, <laughs> whole Supreme Court. Um, that is pretty interesting to me. I've never ever seen this. It does give us a little uh, bio of her. It says, Ruth Joan Bader was born in Brooklyn to a hardworking family of modest means. She and her husband launched brilliant legal careers and raised two children. Despite academic and professional discrimination, Ginsburg became a law professor, argued six cases, won five before the Supreme Court, and fought for fair treatment for women and men. President Carter appointed her to the federal, federal branch and President Clinton appointed her to the U.S. Supreme Court. Ginsburg is a self-confessed terrible cook. What a funny little like uh, last sentence to include, but I kind of like that. It's kind of quirky and funny. I don't know what I'll do with this, but if any of you are big RBG fans, let me know in the comments below. 
it's <laughs> whether or not like whatever your p political leanings are you have to admit she is a very strong woman who has has done a lot in her life so then the next thing i'm seeing is a book but it's not like the actual book for for this subscription it's the pocket rbg wisdom so <laughs> we've got again she definitely knows how to accessorize in all these representations of her. She's got some this beautiful like collar on and then it, the little finger puppet. She had those emerald earrings. I guess we get to learn a little bit about her and each of these items. It says, as a powerhouse associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, Ruth Bader Ginsburg has spent the last quarter century fighting tirelessly for gender equality, reproductive rights, and civil liberties. Her storied and renowned career has made her one of the most influential and groundbreaking legal figures in the history of the country. From covering discrimination of all kinds to American culture and society to reflections on her own life, RBG's words have often inspired hope and caused great change to the American landscape and beyond. This tribute is the ultimate keepsake for admirers of of her notoriously notoriously powerful legacy i wonder how that makes her feel to have her name always associated with the word notorious so it looks like it's divided into different like sections like there is this like front uh two page uh beginning to a section says rbg on discrimination rbg on the supreme court i wonder if there's like a table of contents so we have different sections gender equality the supreme court discrimination herself society and culture so i'm curious to know what she has to say about herself because i think that one of the most powerful things for any human and any woman is to be self-aware so let's see every now and then it helps to be a little deaf that advice has stood me in good stead not simply in dealing with my marriage but in dealing with my colleagues that seems like actually pretty decent advice so I don't think many of us can uh, can argue with that you can you can listen but you know you can also sometimes listen selectively <laughs> all right so what else have we got in this box we've got some RPG tea and we've she's like dressed like a superhero with a cape that's pretty hilarious to me um, and this is lemon and ginseng and it is of course caffeinated because you need some of that RBG energy that's pretty funny to me then we've got <laughs> The Unemployed Philosopher Philosophers Guild. Wow, you guys, it's been a while. Like it's obviously been a while. The Unemployed Philosophers Guild pins, and it's actually two pins. And it says, uh, "It's it's there she is with her serious little face again, and her glasses and her earrings." But man, they always make sure she is accessorized. And then this one that just says, I dissent, which I freaking love that. Um, I can totally see myself. I can be very contrary. So I can totally see myself using that pen, pin and just saying, I dissent. Because so often I find myself, especially in our household, being like, agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually like the safest thing to say. Um, so it just says, this is her opinion. In, and they actually like cite a particular case where she says, I dissent. So that's where the quote actually came from. And then underneath her name, it just says, always have a point. And that's kind of funny on a pin, right? To always have a point. Um, and then finally, we are down at the actual book, which looks pretty interesting to me. So I think that it is a nonfiction book, which is cool. So it's called Sisters in Law, How Sandra Day O'Connor and Ruth Bader Ginsburg Went to the Supreme Court and Changed the World. And it is by Linda Hirschman, and it was a New York Times bestseller. So a nice, hefty paperback that we got here. And I do really like sort of bi biographies when they're well written and engaging and you know there's definitely a story here and it is actually written by someone who has a law degree as well as a PhD in philosophy who would not have a problem saying philosopher the way I did. So let's just read a little bit about this. It says the relationship between Sandra Day O'Connor and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Republican and Democrat, Christian and Jew, Western rancher's daughter and Brooklyn girl transcends party, religion, region and culture, strengthened by each other's presence these groundbreaking judges the first and second women to serve on the highest court in the land have transformed the constitution in america itself making it a more equal place for all women linda hirschman's dual biography includes revealing stories of how these trailblazers fought for recognition in a male-dominated profession battles that would ultimately benefit every american woman hirschman also makes clear how these two justices have shaped the legal framework of modern feminism setting precedent in cases dealing with employment discrimination abortion affirmative action, sexual harassment, and many other issues crucial to women's lives. Sisters-in-law 
combines legal detail with warm personal anecdotes, bringing these very different women into focus as never before. Meticulously researched and compellingly told, it is an authoritative account of our changing law and culture and a moving story of a remarkable friendship. So that sounds really cool and it sounds very like balanced, which is something that I definitely admire, especially when you're talking about um, politics. I mean, even though they are, are judges and supposed to be impartial, there are definitely politics involved. So I love that it is really a story of two very powerful women with people who can agree to disagree, which is so important these days and always. So I'm actually really excited. I usually have been like lately more into like historical fiction and like novels that can kind of help me escape. But I think that this actually sounds really, really interesting. Let me know what you guys think if you know a lot about these two amazing ladies. And let me know if you feel like you're really up on like the political, um, history of the Supreme Court. I just think it's, I don't necessarily consider myself like, I believe in equality, obviously, and but I don't necessarily consider myself like a super strong feminist. Um, so that's probably why I don't know a ton about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. But I love the opportunity to learn about it and see what these amazing women have done for all of us. So if you like this video, guys, please do give it a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.